we're here and we all know we're here and we all know we're surviving. I thought it'd be like more of a class than actually being the most like free place ever. I never thought I'd hang out with teenagers. Teenagers scared me. My case manager at school said, hey, I have this friend, she runs this really cool art group. And I said, I'm not going. And she said, you know, I emailed your mom, your mom wants you to go. I said, I'm not going. To make sure I didn't get grounded, I went. I kind of realized that it wasn't a therapy group. It was a place for people to feel safe. Because of the challenges our community has had with teen suicide in our schools, I think there's been seven in the last five years, that's incredibly scary. There's something going on. There's something that we need to do. I started thinking about how the museum might provide programs or space around helping kids find their voice. I think when we say like survival, it maybe seems a little bit dramatic. It is an art for survival class. It has helped me with a lot of things and especially it's been a huge coping mechanism. What we're doing is creating a space for teens access to art supplies. It's not a clinical environment, it is a creative environment. I look at it as art to save the person who was contemplating suicide. Art to save the person who was going to drag themselves through life and was essentially going to die inside. The artist who was told that art will take them nowhere, they survive. Helena is definitely a, has dealt with a lot of suicides. When I hear something that happens or someone talks to me about it, it'll bring up my own past of dealing with it, with family and myself personally. It's fifth grade, that's actually when I tried acting on it. The one thing that always like got me was after I came out of the hospital, my counselor's like, it's gonna be okay. Like, I wish someone told me that. Like, it's gonna be okay. You can't just edit all. You have so much waiting for you. Like, it will get better. I didn't think there was anyone to talk to. Cause you know, I was scared about what they would think or they would be like, oh, buck up. Yeah. Yeah. There's a dialogue between everyone and we are able to talk about the things that are weighing on our minds and, and I think here you can, you can just be what you are. The minute we walk through those doors, we know we're accepted and we know we're in a safe place. There's theories in psychology and education of flow. Getting to a space in your life experience where you're so involved in something that time and hunger and things like that kind of fall away because you're enjoying what you're working on and that can happen when you're playing with art materials or listening to music or writing a story or experiencing art. I mean it's not, well I almost said it's not something that's going to heal the world but I kind of feel like it could. Yeah, lets you take the things that you feel and let them go. The art is everything in Art for Survival. It's the people, it's the places, it's the things we see, the things we do. That is the art in Art for Survival. Every single time I come here, my mood is 100% improved. I feel a lot smarter, I feel a lot more creative. It can be really difficult to find yourself a safe place where you can express yourself in ways that you never imagined. But Art for Survival is just kind of like, our arms are open. Make something, create something, be yourself, express yourself. I don't know, I'm really glad we have it here, Holter Art Museum. I never thought I'd ever be part of it. And helping with people with financial issues, we're able to come and not worry about money. If you're an artsy fartsy kind of kid, you need to come over here because this is gonna like open your life up to so many things. I mean, it's what's kept me going. Teens need it. They, they need a space where they can be themselves and they can just come and sit with what they're feeling and put it into these great pieces of art or great um, pieces of writing. I want them to leave with confidence. They no longer feel alone. Perhaps they've learned that who they are is beautiful and they're valuable human beings. Connecting with art can make your life better.
the biggest thing that Art for Survival has taught me so far is that I have the tools. I will make the tools if I need to, to build up myself, build up others through art, through music, through writing, through friendship. It's everything I've needed. It has definitely changed my life.